Hello all you fellow musicians and gamers out there, this is Quanagami here and I am here with a brand new let's play and this is a blind let's play of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now you may be wondering why I'm playing this game, well it's because I feel that like uh, the last Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed game I played in terms of the story was Assassin's Creed 3 and I'm interested to see what happens in the fourth one because I've never played this before so it'll be all new to me so just gonna enter my YouTube username in here uh, hopefully if I can enter it all and I funnily enough actually I haven't played this game since uh, well Christmas actually I got it from a Christmas and uh, it's pretty cool that, um, that I got it um, from my uh, brother's girlfriend as well so uh, thank you to her for that so anyway let's get started off I'm looking forward to this actually it should be good from what I understand it is a pretty uh, it's a pretty good game from what I've heard, so we'll see what happens and we'll see how it plays out. I know that you play as uh, Edward Kenway, the uh, the father of a uh, Hatham from Assassin's Creed Three, and the grandfather of a uh, Connor from Assassin's Creed Three as well. And just checking my mic. Oh, okay, you be soft. Uh, we're going to be starting off on the action. Oh, wow, yep. Seventeen fifteen. We're all right into action right away. I like it. It seems like a ship's under attack by something. I'm not sure what it is. And yes, I'll be recording like one hour of this. Of that, actually. As soon as this cutscene's over, I'm going to turn the subtitles on. Oh. There he is. In fact, let me just pause this. Go into options. I just want to turn the subtitles on here. Adjust sound settings. Spoken language. Uh, she Santis. Is there subtitles here? Wait a minute. Let's we'll see if it's in another video settings. Ah, here we are. Yep. Turn subtitles on. Yep. Alright, that's fine. That's all I needed, wanted to change. Alright, use L and R to rotate the camera. New objective reach the ship's wheel. Okay, where's the ship's wheel? There it is there. Right on the very end. Oh, okay, that was a bit weird. Right. I'm doing that right now. Okay then, so to fire your cannons, hold that one and move right to aim, press armor to shoot. Okay. Shoot the hole for maximum damage. Oh, that was a good hit right there. Okay. Wow, it's good. This is great so far. I'm, I'm really enjoying this, getting right into the action here. Wait, where are the enemy ships approaching? I know that they're coming from right behind me. Yep, there they are there. Yep, there's another one down. Yep, I will do that indeed. Aye, aye. So yeah, sorry if I'm sounding a bit unenthusiastic or anything like that, it's because I'm quite tired at the moment. Well, I mean a bit tired because I stayed up quite late last night. And you know why that is? Because it's June 16th today, 2015. And, oh, okay. That sink enemy ships. Okay, so there's one more to go. That'll be that one right there, that big one right there. So it's go now. Okay, that's still not, still not down yet. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay, it should be gone. Oh, really? Still not yet? Oh, this should finish it off, hopefully. There we are. Okay, that was a pretty tense start to the game, but pretty cool nonetheless. I love the name of the ship then. I actually thought they were talking about an actual magazine there, and I thought, wait. It's an assassin. Who? Oh, so that's Edward Vitt. Oh, okay, right. I didn't actually think that. Okay, so maybe he's not exactly an assassin yet. So I'll find out soon enough. So he's still a pirate. Still a pirate at sea. Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. Sod the Navy's gentlemen. If 
For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. That's a pretty interesting cutscene there. Probably a flashback of some sorts. Going with these privateers. Oh. I got to swim under. Oh, it's still a cutscene. Okay, that's fine. Okay, new objective, reach the shore, right, okay, I've got, okay, use L to swim, of course, I know how to swim. In fact, I can swim even faster, can't I, yep. Yep, I already knew that game, but thank you anyway, but you see, I, I, I knew that because I already know how to swim in the previous Assassin's Creed games. So yeah, I'm quite tired because I had stayed up watching the, uh, Sony conference last night at E3 2015 and it was pretty good if you ask me I, I quite enjoyed it I mean they had a lot of uh, great new games in there and a few surprises to throw in there as well so I'm, I was very happy with the, how the conference went Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> Bloody fucking pirates! <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Well, that was pretty close right there. I actually thought he was going to shoot him right there on the spot, but I would have thought, nah, that's way too early. The game would have ended way Come too early on, if that's mate. the case. We're off to a bad start. Okay, hold forward. Find the assassin. Oh, I've got to... Is that guy an assassin? Oh, okay. I actually thought he was a Templar for some reason. He actually behaved like a Templar. Don't know why. Don't ask me why, but I I just thought that assassin a behaved like a Templar, but whatever. Okay, I'm wondering where this guy is. Find the assassin. Of course, I don't have eagle vision yet, because I'm not an assassin. That's right. I'm just a pirate. That's all I am. Oh, I'm not complaining. Pirates are cool. Okay, uh, how do I grab onto that? Oh, okay. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay, I just jump on there. Ah, here we are. I'm assuming he went up here. I think. Near the sea. I've got Wi Fi connection down the bottom left. That's quite interesting. Okay, I'm wondering where this assassin went. He has to. He kind of just disappeared in the thin air. He must be here somewhere. No, I can't go down there, obviously, since he, he, I've already been here. Oh, wait, there's a. Here's something I can climb up to get higher up. Just comes to show you, if you keep exploring, you'll, well, obviously this is an obvious statement, but if you keep exploring, you'll find the right things that you need. Now, just to say, I may get stuck on some sections in this blind let's play, so if any of you in the comments could help me out with any particular sections uh, that I'm stuck on in future parts, and that'd be very greatly appreciated. But just a question for you guys, what do you think uh, of a... Uh, 
of Edward Kenway so far, I mean, in this game, if you've not played it before, oh, we've got our first viewpoint here. And of course, this is set in between the events of uh, Ezio's timeline and Connor's timeline. But so far, I mean, for Edward, I quite like his character. Oh, right, there he is. Poor kid. Where's he running to? Okay, I just thought I was going to fall to my death there for some reason. Oh, and I'll kill you. Well, not if I kill you first. Even though I don't want to, because you're technically you're an assassin, and you're you're the good guys here, and uh, well. I don't know. Well, it's a bit of a complication right there, but we could work together on this. Yeah, we could negotiate. Okay. Okay, so jump up here and onto this. Okay, and then. Okay, where is August Elf swim? Keep your oh crap. Okay, that's not good. Wait, hold our one moving forward to free one. Okay, now is my opportunity to kill him. Just gonna really just run after him. This looks really good. I've seen this being played before on the PS4, but of course, I mean, well, the downscale is a, a big difference on the PS3, but it still looks pretty good nonetheless on the PS4. Oh crap. Oh no, I may actually fail here if I'm not careful. Okay, I probably should not have gone up. Oh no. Oh crap, well that's a great start. <laughs> I died already by falling off the... Now if that was the last point I fell episode, then that would have been over right there and now. Okay, so I can... I'm still going to keep trying. Alright, lesson learned. Do not jump off it. I need to... Okay, come on. I don't know why you're not running. Okay. Lesson learned. Do not jump off uh, high places because it'll cause you to die. Okay. Oh, crap, I'm losing distance from him already. Nah, I'm gonna lose him. Crap. Okay, this is really difficult already for some reason. I I don't know why. Yeah. See, this is this is what blind let's play will do to you. It's you'll get stuck on certain bits, and I can't believe I'm stuck on this bit already. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a bit close to him now. I think. Yeah, I'm getting much closer to him now. Okay. Come on, you. I'm gonna get you. I'm getting closer. Well, that was uh, pretty easy. I mean, I got my third try, but still, that was a... Uh... I probably shouldn't have died that many times, but oh well. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Sumas humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. So that's how Edward got the assassin robes. He stole them off of the, the assassin he just killed. Pretty clever. Alright, find the way to Havana. Right, okay, I've got to... Oh. Schooner. Oh, that that be that boat there, right? Restricted area, right? Okay, I'm gonna have to make, carefully make my way down here without alerting any guards. So far, I mean, this is pretty good. I'm, uh, 
and the areas look pretty good on the PS3. Okay, I got a fragment. I'm not sure what that was. I'll find out probably soon enough. Free the merchant. Okay, stalking zones. Dense vegetation can be used as stalking zones. They allow you to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach target. Oh, okay, right. So using, like, high leaves of grass, like, stealthily. Yeah. So basically use this to well, remain undetected. Right, this should be quite easy then since this is the first area, but again, I might open my big mouth too soon and uh, I might get detected. <laughs> that usually happens to me. I mean, maybe not usually, but... Okay, where is... I'll pay you! Anything you like! Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to kill all these guys first before I can actually, uh... Okay, no. Oh yeah, I'll have to remember the... I'm not sure if it's the same controls as it was in Assassin's Creed 3. Alright, there we are. It's pretty easy. By God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain. And I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him. And I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. All things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Alright then. Okay, so there's quick transitions between the cutscenes. That's actually really good. I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Exactly. I mean, swimming with the fishes. I mean, look, there's fishes in there as well. Like, it's a lot of detail. I mean, the water may not look as good. Well, the PS4 version is obviously like the is much better than the PS3 version, but the PS3 version still looks pretty good, nonetheless. All right, uh, can I? Oh, I can climb up here, can't I? Okay, here we go. Hey, reach the ship's wheel. Okay, I've done that. Okay, it's not registering. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, there we are. Sail out of the bay. Aboard, Press X. Okay, right. Schooner, but well to my purpose, cargo from my Here's Elder's to your ship. Do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to fall, shall we? Okay, then let's do that then. I mean, to be honest, like I remember playing the pirate or the ship ah, section the and in the Assassin's Creed 3 game, and I thought it was pretty good. So I might enjoy that. I'm gonna enjoy this if I really like that. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. Of course we'll get to hear the sea shanties being sung as well when sailing, so that'll be pretty good. I think Edward, I mean, it, I, I do like his character, but at the same time though he is lying quite a bit as well, so... Oh, press X is, uh, sorry, circle to slow your ship. I was going to say, yeah, I can't press X anymore, otherwise I will make my ship go even faster, or I can't make it go any faster. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so turn all the way, turn. Okay. Good, very good. Okay, now let's go to fuel cell again. Yes, I suppose that's true. Sorry if I'm talking over the dialogue, but it's just... This is really good so far. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. And yeah, I know that, like... I sound quite tired, but... 
was worth